This is Linux Mint 21, codename Vanessa. It is the latest version of the friendly Linux operating system. Linux Mint 21 is a long-term support release which will be supported until 2027. It comes with updated software and brings refinements and many new features to make your desktop experience more comfortable. Installation Guide for Linux Mint 21 This guide will help you download the right ISO image, create your bootable media and install Linux Mint on your computer. I will put the links of where to download the ISO image of Linux Mint 21 in the description box. Installing Linux Mint in the live session. When you boot the computer from a USB stick or DVD, Linux Mint starts a live session. It logs you in automatically as a user called Mint and shows you a desktop with the installer on it. The live session is similar to a normal session, but with the following exceptions. The live session is slower and it is loaded from a USB stick or DVD as opposed to a SSD or hard disk. Changes you make in the live session are not permanent. They are not written to the USB stick or DVD and they do not impact the system installed by the installer. Some applications work differently or not at all in the live session like the time shift, flat pack, update manager, welcome screen, etc. Hint. The username for the live session is Mint. If asked for a password, just press Enter. Installing Linux Mint on the computer. To permanently install Linux Mint on your computer just follow this procedure. 1. Double click install Linux Mint. 2. Select your language. 3. Connect to the internet. 4. If you are connected to the internet click and select the box to install the multimedia codecs. 5. Choose an installation type. If Linux Mint is the only operating system you want to run on this computer and all data can be lost on the hard drive, choose Erase Disk and install Linux Mint. Warning. Encrypt the new Linux Mint installation for security refers to full disk encryption. At this stage of the installation your keyboard layout wasn't yet selected so it is set to English US. If you decide to use this option, keep this in mind when entering a password. Note that there are issues with this option and some NVIDIA drivers. If you are new to Linux use home directory encryption instead, you can select it later during the installation. If another operating system is present on the computer the installer shows you an option to install Linux Mint alongside it. If you choose this option the installer automatically resizes your existing operating system makes room and installs Linux Mint beside it. A boot menu is set up to choose between the two operating systems each time you boot up your computer. Note. If you want to manage the partitions or specify which partitions to use select something else. Linux Mint requires one partition to be mounted on the root directory. The Linux Mint operating system without additional software or personal data takes roughly 15 GB, so give this partition a decent size like a 100 GB or more. The EXT4 is recommended. It is the most popular Linux file system. Also create a swap partition. This partition is used for hibernation and is a safety buffer in case your computer runs out of RAM. Give this partition a size equal to the amount of RAM in your computer. 6. Select your time zone. 7. Select your keyboard layout. 8. Enter your user details. Your name can be your real name, but it doesn't have to be. It is only used locally, in the screensaver and on the login screen. Your username is what you log in as, and your hostname is the name of your computer on the network. To prevent bugs only use lowercase characters with no punctuation or accentuation. To protect your personal data against local attacks people around you, or in case your computer gets stolen, tick encrypt my home folder. Choose a strong password. Enjoy the slideshow while Linux Mint is installed on your computer. When the installation is finished, click restart now. The computer will then start to shut down and ask you to remove the USB disk or DVD. Upon reboot, your computer should show you a boot menu or start your newly installed Linux Mint operating system.